Hey friends, it's Erica. I have a process video for you for the Shimmers Paints Design Team. I'm going to be using their gorgeous kit here and I have um, cut out some bits, some floral bits, and then I have some of the cut out die cuts and I have the colors to match. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use. I did pull in this white, whites of their eyes too, the color splash that I'll probably use on there as well, but I'm thinking I'll probably mostly use this one and French twist, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I have a white textured background. I have my photo here, and then I have these papers that I have trimmed down. I am going to gut the inside of this one, but I am going to layer these up like so, get them all adhered together. And then my idea is to have my photo on this side with some color going down here and then um, might use this as the title. So I'm gonna add florals and embellishments going down the page, um, and then all that color will kind of peek out um, around the edges there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward and start getting some of this color down. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Tangerine Dream Vibes, just kind of rolling that um, in my hands to get it kind of mixed up. And I'm just going to spray it directly to the white textured cardstock here. I do have this white textured cardstock trimmed down to 10 and 3 quarters by 10 and 3 quarters. And then um, I will mat it onto two of the papers from the July 2023 paper bundle. I'm going to uh, add some of the Tangerine Dream to this clear acrylic block and then take my paintbrush to pick up the color and just splatter it all over the cardstock. I'm going to focus mainly on this right side of the layout because I know that I want to place the photo there and then just have the embellishments just going from top to bottom and then some around my photo. Uh, the photo that I am scrapping today is one from a concert that I went to with my sister-in-law and my daughter, and we went to go see Chris Stapleton and George Strait in Milwaukee, and it was so much fun. We had the best time, and I'm so glad I took so many photos, and I just thought the uh, photo was perfect for this collection. It was really, um, really fun. We had a really good time. Um, we were having some girl time. My brother was there as well, um, but um, it was mostly us three girls. So um, the colors in this collection were just perfect to go with this photo. I'm going to go in with the other colors from this month's uh, kit. Um, I have the Tangerine Dream, uh, Blue Spruce, French Twist, Pistachio, and then the other color from this month was a Vibes Green Tide Monster that I don't think I end up using that on this layout. Um, and then I did pull in a color splash in whites of their eyes. And this is one of the glossy acrylic sprays. And I use this at the end of the layout just to add some white splatter all over the layout. And I just love the way, to, way that white splatter looks on florals. Um, so I'm going in with that Tangerine Dream and I ended up going in and just using the, um, I opened it up and used the bottle, like the spritzer bottle, um, what's it called? Just like the top of it. Um, and flicking that onto the layout just to add even bigger splatters onto the layout because the paintbrush usually gives like a finer, smaller splatter. And then if you just use the top of the, the bottle, like the applicator, it will give it a bigger, um, splatter. So um, I went in with the pistachio and then um, I used the paper towel roll to just roll it, kind of lift up some of that color. And then I went in with the French twist, which I think I am finishing up right now. Just adding a whole bunch of color. Then I go in with the paper towel roll, kind of um, soak it up and go back in again and again and again until I get the amount and the look that I'm going for. This is a super easy way to do some mixed media to a background. You can do a whole bunch of colors like I'm doing. I think I've got four or five different colors or you can just stick to one color. It's super easy. You don't need to prep your cardstock with any type of medium or anything. Um, as long as that you go through, um, after you do one color, you kind of wipe it up. No, not wipe it up, but kind of soak it up like I'm doing here with the paper towel. Um, you should be fine and not have to use any type of, um, what's that called, gesso. If you want to use gesso and you like using gesso, it's totally fine. Um, but for this, I did not. It's just um, some light splatters uh, with each color. And I go in after each color and kind of soak it up just a little bit. 
So I am going to add some white here to the background and then I will go back in at the end and add even more white. Just going in with my paintbrush. And then now I'm going to take my photo and add some layers behind it using um, a piece of the scrap paper from the paper bundle. I'm going to add two different layers. I'm going to use this darker pink color and then a lighter pink. And then I'm going to go in with the scissors and then distress the edges just to give it a little bit of texture and interest to the paper layers. I'm going to add some foam adhesive behind the photo and then get it stuck down to the layout. I'm going to place it to the right of the layout where all that color is laying on that white base. I'm going to add a second layer and then also distress these edges and then get this stuck down to the layout. I am gonna use a lot of fussy cut florals. There was a paper in this collection. There's actually a couple floral papers that are perfect for fussy cutting florals and adding them to your layout. And one of the 12 by 12s, I like completely fussy cut all of the florals. So wanted to get them down on a layout. And then for my title, I'm gonna use this summer cut out from the 12 by 12 cut apart sheet. Some of these floral clusters are adhered directly to the layout, and then I do layer some on top of them, um, just popping them up with a foam adhesive. This just gives it even more dimension and just kind of builds up the embellishments there on the layout, and they just go from top to bottom. And I do have some added to the left and the right of the photo to kind of fill that out as well. And then I do place some of the uh, cut apart die cuts that I added, or that I cut out added to the layout as well. I have that uh, cold drink there. Um, to the right and I'm going to pop in a floral to the side. Some of the florals are cut in half. Those are the ones that I'm going to add to the left and right of the photo. You can't see the other half of the floral anyway so why not cut it out or cut it in half and use it in two different spots. Have this cute little camera that was perfect to add to this layout and then just going in and tucking in some leaves. So I'm just kind of placing these where I want them to go and then off camera I go in and, and adhere everything down to the layout using um, wet glue and some foam adhesive. Gonna go in now with the final touch and add some white color splash and um, add that all over the uh, embellishments and I love the way that it looks. You'll see it better in the close-ups that I have for you guys at the end of the video, but I just love adding the white color um, splatters to a layout like this, especially one that has lots and lots of florals. I just It's just so pretty. I just love the little bit of interest that it adds to the page. So I'll make sure to leave everything linked down below. If you do some shopping in the Shimmers shop, make sure that you leave my name in the comment section of the uh, checkout process and you will receive a free gift in your order. Um, you can just put Erica Thompson, Erica Rose, Erica Rose Crates, and um, the free gift will ship with your order. So if you do purchase something, thank you guys so much. Here are the still shots. I will leave everything linked down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys get some time to do something creative and I will see you soon. Bye.